everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to be talking about the books that I read from the, the week of the 20th to the 26th. I only read three books and two of those were audiobooks so yeah it wasn't a, a huge reading week but it was still pretty good and I read uh, or listened to the Murder, uh, Murder on Sisters Row by Victoria Thompson it's number 13 in the Gaslight series and in this one, it's about Sarah Brandt, who is um, called to a delivery. And when she gets there and everything, things look a little strange, but she doesn't really think a whole lot about it. And she finds out later, after she's helped deliver the baby, that she's in a, that she's in a brothel. And she's a little upset about that, because she probably wouldn't have come to the call. Maybe, she, you know, but she, she just didn't like being lied to. She might have came, but she didn't like being lied to. Then uh, she finds out from the girl that had the baby that she wants to get out of the brothel. She's um, wanting some help. She knows about this lady who helps people like her. She's afraid they're going to take her baby away and all that stuff. And she's really pleading with Sarah. And so Sarah's not really sure what to do, but she decides to go and try to find the person that she's talking about. And just to kind of see what can be done. Meanwhile, she still goes and to the brothel and checks on the baby and checks on the lady and um, she gets involved a little bit more and then she finds out from Detective Frank Malloy who he doesn't want her to get involved because if you uh, mess with the madams and things like that, the brothels and stuff, it, it could be really dangerous because they don't like people getting out of there because that's their livelihood and their business and they don't want you messing with it. And uh, he's afraid that she's going to get in over her head and doesn't want her to get involved. But she does anyway. And then the lady who was supposed to be helping Amy get out ends up dead. And see, he's like thinking, you know, that it has to be connected somehow to that. And trying to tell Sarah, see, this is the things that you don't do because... Uh, brothels and things like that you don't mess with them but of course she still gets involved and in everything and has to try to figure out what happened to her and uh, how it's connected maybe to the brothel and trying to not get too involved but still involved and it aggravates Frank but he knows that she's going to help and then there comes a part where the place that the ladies that are in the brothel gets taken afterwards they don't allow men in and so he has to resign himself to asking Sarah for her help which it just really aggravates him because he does not let her like her getting involved but he needs her help because they won't talk to him or let him in there so she has to go in there and talk to the ladies and everything and try to find things out which I thought was, it was kind of funny because it aggravates him to have to ask for her help <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I really like this series. It's one of my favorite historical mystery cozy series. And I think you should give it a try. I I don't think you necessarily have to read them in order. But there is a, a, a story arc that kind of goes along with it. Um, you know, finding out how she meets uh, Detective Frank Malloy and all that. And then the stuff that happens with her, the death of her husband... Yeah, there's there's a, a section where you find out more about that and stuff. So I think if you just read from the beginning, you would get more out of it. But I don't think they necessarily have to be read in order. But I'm a stickler for reading things in order. <laughs> then the next one I have is Denied by Mary Kelly Eco. And this is um, Kelly Pruitt number two. And this is an e-arc that I had. And I forgot to write which publisher it's from. So, I will put that, I'll, I'll put it down here so you'll know. But anyway, it's, this one is where Kelly, who is a private eye, she gets asked by her old school friend that she hadn't seen for a while if she would please look into what happened to her father. She's been trying to call him and everything for a while now and hasn't been able to find him. They've been a little bit estranged because of something that happened at Thanksgiving and they got in a fight and he even told her that she needs to divorce her husband and so yeah they got in a big fight and so they just haven't really talked to each other 
but she's pregnant now and she really wants to find him and you know so he know that she's pregnant and everything and so Kelly decides to go ahead and look into it and she goes to uh, Vince's house and she finds a lot of like pool tabs and lottery tickets and stuff so she figures he must be into some kind of gambling she finds out where he's been gambling she goes there she's affronted by a big bully guy telling her that she needs to uh, leave things alone and then she meets Mickey who is the boss and he tells her pretty much the same thing that he knew her father who was also a PI but he's passed on now and because he's known her father he's kinda gonna give her a pass and just she needs to leave whatever is happening with Vince alone and so that makes her a little bit curious on you know maybe he you know he's into something really bad and then they find she finds out that they find when she calls the police they find Vince uh, he had been either run off the road or they think that he probably just fell asleep and went off the road and went down a ravine and he's been there for a couple of weeks and somebody just now found him and so he's dead so she she's thinking that something is up with that um, with all the with her being threatened and then the gambling tabs and all and things that something something's a little fishy and the more she investigates and the more she's into that the more people tell her to leave it alone um, she gets herself into trouble several times but she doesn't seem to know how to leave well enough alone she's really wanting to figure it out especially for her friend Stephanie because it's hard to deal with the fact that she finds out that her father is dead but she doesn't have any closure on why he's dead her husband wants her to stay out of it um, Stephanie's husband wants Kelly to stay out of it but he won't exactly say why and so that makes her even more curious and things and so she's you know determined to figure out what happened and she kind of gets a little in over her head at times but yeah it was really good I enjoyed it I gave it four stars um, I this is just like I said it's just the second one but I really enjoyed the first one and I enjoyed this one so I can't wait to see what else this author comes up with within the uh, Kelly Pruitt series and so if you like um, PI type of books I think you would really enjoy it and then the last one I have is a dark and secret place by Jen Williams and this one was also an e-arc that I had and I also don't remember where it's from so I'll have to put it down here but I also I'm a little late on it and so I found an audio of it and so I listened to it but it's about Heather who is estranged from her mother they haven't talked in a long time but then her mother passes on and it's a, apparently it's a suicide but when she gets there to her house and starts trying to clean out the house and things she finds that her mother has been writing to a serial killer and I don't remember what the serial oh the red wolf was his name and um, she's like kind of creeped out about this because why would her mother be you know writing a serial killer and then um, some things she finds out some things and it apparently there is a copycat killer who is killing people the same way that this Michael the red wolf um, killed and she gets involved with a policeman she is an ex reporter there were some things that happened and she lost her job but still this all really really interests her and so she contacts a detective and he helps her and she she gets to come in and talk to this guy Michael at the prison and she's really she's just wanting to know more about her mother because she finds out that her mother was in a commune but it doesn't seem like this commune was a very good place like it could have been like some kind of a, a, a cult of some sort and some bad things that happened it was in the woods so you've got this creepy woods thing going on and then she keeps feeling like she's being followed and all kinds of things are happening and she's just really getting creeped out but she's really wanting to know you know she didn't know her mother like she thought she did and so it, it was just kind of interesting it's kind of creepy in some spots it's a thriller um, it was it was really interesting especially when we got to the end and there was like this twist that I didn't see coming <laughs> and so I thought that was pretty cool 
and everything. But yeah, I en I enjoyed this one, and I would probably, I mean, there were it was slow in some spots, and I, I did enjoy it overall. But I think this one probably gets about three stars. But I did enjoy it, and I would probably try other books from this author. This was my first time trying this author. So, yeah. So that's everything that I read this week. I'm not going to talk about the books that I'm going to be reading, because I will be putting up a historical read -a romance readathon TBR tomorrow, and so you will find out the books that I'm going to be reading right now. I'm kind of not reading a whole lot, giving myself a little bit of a break until I start the historical readathon. So this is pretty much all I got for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!